perfectly. If, am I mages, wrong? Mages can kill. Mages. Uh, they can. They can be killed a lot. A lot easier yeah, than Elishaman. Yeah, a lot Shaman, more easier than Elishaman. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. There's, you know, it is, it is still can be still tough because uh, Shadow Priest Mage, you know, you can do, you can do um, a deep freeze plus a silence onto the Ellie, onto the DK rather, and you can sometimes just hundred zero them because they can't, um, they can't IBF, they can't AMS, they can't do anything. So yeah. that that is really scary times, um, and especially because m almost all DKs play with no PVP ticket. I guess they're playing whole, they're playing human though, so you would have one. Um, but anyway, Ellie ban coming out there, and I think that's what they needed to do. Yeah, uh, Shadow Priest right, ban right. comes out from Sonic Kids, um, so. You know that is uh, the same uh, band from them, and the Ellie band gonna come out. So I think uh, we're gonna see hashtag man coming in. Yeah, and, uh, probably hashtag man coming in. Yeah, there he is. All right, so there's a frost mage pick coming up from them, and I actually uh, should be interested. I think that the band from Sonic it should probably be like a, uh, a shadow priest band from them. Oh, they already banned shadow priest. Uh, the mushroom company, I mean. They should oh, ban mushroom priest. company should ban shadow priest. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Uh, they could also, they could also ban out. Um, Restodrid, if they don't want to fight against, you know, uh, like you could fight against kind of like an inferior wizard comp, and they could fight against MLS, but they are going to ban out that. So I think it's just going to be MLD or MLS now. Yeah. Um, I think it's probably going to be MLD. I think MLD is a little bit stronger overall than MLS just because of survivability. You have it played well. Yeah. But uh, then again, Shaman does have a lot of survivability against wizards with like uh, groundings and shears. Yeah. Lot, and you have the offensive spin. pressure. It just depends what, what, yeah. you, what you kind of value. Yeah, um, I actually the world see comes uh, out. MLS coming. I see Riles playing with the Rester Shaman a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, he has, he's played with Waffles a, a lot. So, um, Rester Drid, Affliction, Warlock uh, for Mushroom Company. I think we're just going to see the DK pick once again. So it's very likely going to be the same Shadow Cleave comp for Mushroom Company, and they're going to be going up against uh, MLS. probably MLS. It could be MLD. It's going to be MLS, though. So. Okay, so it's MLD versus MLS. So uh, the swap up is made. Bon Q going to be swapped in. Uh, he was banned out every game in the first two series, so... Uh, he's making his debut here now, and um, yep. you know the man gonna have to go up against Bon Q. And we're gonna see who's gonna come out on top here. I think the rest of your team has the advantage in this matchup. Yeah, so do I. Uh, you can't. The uh, rest of Shaman is very swappable too by a mage and a warlock, while the rest of dude not so much. Um, rest of dude much easier to sit in the back and spam heals, hots on your team, and keep them up like that. While the rest of Shaman's gonna be pressured the entire game by the mage and the warlock, which is uh, which is a really good thing. Rest of Shaman will also run um a lot faster. I hear the Russians. Dude. I don't even know how. I'm hearing Russians. Oh, here we go. You're hearing Russians. It's muted, but it unpaused somehow and started playing. Wow, yeah. magic! No, yeah, it is magic. All right, I'll close that off so it doesn't happen again. But um, yeah, I agree. Uh, the, there's a lot of swap opportunities over on that Resto Shaman man. So yeah, we'll have to see how yeah he's able to handle it. Yep. All right, so it is going to be uh, down to this. It's going to be the MLD versus the MLS. Mushroom Company has to win if they want to stay alive in the series. They looked uh, pretty damn good in that first series, but I don't know. Um, yeah, if they can take this win, probably top four potential for them is very realistic. So, yeah. have to see. Have they? Uh, do they have any more series to play after this one, or is this the last one for them? Uh, who? Mushroom today? Company. Today, this is their not, last not, series. Not not today, but this is only their fifth series played. They'll have two more to play. Oh wow! So they yeah still have a lot of games to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's still a lot of games to be played here. So I mean, it, definitely if they win the, if they win all three of their series, they're 100 percent gonna make it out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But we'll have to see if they can overcome Sonic Kids. MLD versus MLS. This could be a very long game. <laughs> yeah, could could be very long. Could Wizard, be a very Wizard long. mirrors can be painful, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, some of the wizard mirrors. There's a lot of uh, aggressive potential, but. Most mage time. lock versus mage lock can be pretty can be pretty slow because um, CCSs. Well, that but not even that. It's more about two spammable CCs. So it's like you you make a swap and then the other team just spams CC and then they make a swap and you spam CC. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's there's one I actually like think that uh, versus versus MLD. I, like if I was playing against MLD, I mean, I guess they didn't know they were gonna be playing against MLD. Like I actually prefer playing Destro or Demo rather than Affliction. Just because I think yeah. that you need kind of the burst to you need the burst kill. You don't need spread pressure so much against right. resto druids because unless you, unless your team is just like unless you were playing with someone else who has six spread pressure, like huge spread pressure, like a DK, then you don't actually get anything from your spread pressure. Like you kind of like you can maybe rob people a bit, but generally speaking, you're not going to win on mana. It's not that big of a deal. So it's it's better to just like kind of try to shatter someone spell. through like through hots and then just you know get a shatter burn on them and kill them or whatever. But yeah, obviously, the, he didn't know what they were going to be playing against. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be MLD. So obviously the cookie cutter affliction is going to be what's picked. Yeah. Although yeah, I agree. Like Destro is very like 
very good against Restrogies just because those Chaos Bolts will come in and just kind of negate the Hots. Like, Hots don't heal through Burst, they heal through Spread Pressure, which is what Affliction is, so... Yeah. Oh, should be interesting. I hope, uh, I hope it's not too long. I hope someone's going to be able to get a kill fast, because they could be pretty boring games. Yeah, it's not impossible. Uh, hopefully not, though. Hopefully they're going to make some exciting ones. And I mean, yeah. there, there is like, you can have two games time out, and one can be exciting, like really exciting, and one can be horrible. You know, you can yeah. have long games that are exciting. You know, it is possible where it's like oh, back and forth, and teams are almost dying the whole time, and blah, 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 and that, that can be really fun. But um, yeah. when it's just one of those back and forth, like when it's one of the games where nothing is happening the whole time, uh, yeah. It gets pretty boring. Yeah, it gets pretty boring. That's okay. Maybe we'll need some evil eye to come in here and spice things up. Guess one of those. Alright, I have to go horde, I think, for this. You have to go? I, I have to go horde. No, no, horde. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what he's told me to do, anyways. Okay. Perfect. Do you know what their name is on horde? I will check my reality. It is Arena Sonic. Okay. Unfortunate. Is this the second place that I already played all their games? Uh, they have one more game to play. Okay. One more game next weekend. I don't even know who they're playing, but I know they have six games played. Okay. We have five games, right? Four. We have four. We've only played four. Oh, wow. Okay. So we we have three straight series tomorrow, man. Oh, yeah. Big Dropping big the ball here, bro. All right. I, uh, I'll, I'll make sure 100% I don't come. Okay. Because I won't play splendid. anyways. You will play. I have really? a feeling. I have a feeling. Yeah, I have really? a feeling you're getting into a guess, at least one best of three. I don't think more one best of three, but I think you're getting into a best of three tomorrow. Just one. Just nice. One. Just one, so. and then you're gonna be banned out permanently again. But I think you're getting into one. Nice. That's that's exciting. Cause yep. Once it we is. get into the later stages, even though I'm not sure. Who knows, man? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe people become really scared of Azale. Maybe. Maybe Azale's just a maybe scary easy man. shadow play, just too strong. Yeah, easy shadow play, too strong. Yep. Maybe have you got banned out? How many games have you guys practiced? Probably over the course of mob. Probably fifteen thousand games total in well, yeah. not not just in mob, but literally probably overall? around probably overall probably about fifteen thousand games of shadow play. I'd say. Yeah, that's how many games I have played total. Less than I have played total on my one character, <laughs> and that they've played as shadow play. So, if anyone's experienced as a comp, they are. Yeah, we've played a, we've played a couple games of shadow play. <laughs> yeah, just a couple. Yeah. I played around. I don't know, like uh, I think twelve thousand arenas on my druid. Yeah, I think my he main played my fifteen thousand as shadow play. It's almost all like on uh, on TR and stuff though. Like my main yeah. warlock doesn't even have like a crazy amount of games, but we've played infinity games as shadow play. Yeah, I remember queuing you guys as Kitty Cleave when you guys were playing shadow play. Yeah, to help you guys Everyone needs win, to and then you let us down. You lost. Yeah, because you guys are obviously just worse than them. We did let the team down. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so we're right. just waiting for them to invite these people, man. They're not inviting people. There's only they one invited me. Well, I'm in the group, but there's only a druid online. We need a warlock and we need a mage too to make the MLD. We have the D, but we don't have the ML. Okay. Well, maybe the ML will come in for maybe, the D. Maybe the ML wants that D and it's gonna <laughs> get in here. It's gonna come in for the D. All right. Yeah. We'll see if they want the D or they don't want the D. We got the M. We got oh, the M now. The M wanted the D. Let's we'll see if the L wants the D too. Yeah, the L the L is offline right now, so just waiting to see if uh, if the L wants the D. The M the M definitely wants the D. He is on here. He's ready to go. I'm sure. I'm not gonna say that. That's me. Anyways. Yeah, I hope MLS is gonna be able to get pressure going with the uh, mastery buff and everything. So. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, is it crashing? I think it's crashing. Yep. There we go. Big time crash. What's crash? My game. Oh, that's not fun. No, it's not fun. Okay, I'll get back on. All right, time to friggin' hide these arena frame thing. Okay. Although when we did, I did play against MLD in that tournament on um the tournament round, or whatever, the charity tournament, they were doing a lot of pressure. They did do a lot of damage, uh, mm. every deep freeze and stuff, so it is scary. Yeah, and I mean, the thing with MLD is that it has so much CC, so it's like, yeah. you can, you can, 
actually get kills or anything. Like it, it is obviously it's not easy to get kills yeah. as either comp, but I mean the thing is sometimes there's just like CC just does not end ever. Yeah, you have three spammable CCs and yeah, if, yeah it's pretty hard to stop all three. Yep, exactly. It, it's it's one of those situations where you're kind of like it really sucks because it's like sometimes like you know for example like I'm on a warlock and I'm in trouble and I see a poly and a, and a cyclone both being casted on my shaman at the same time and I can only stop one and it's like oh god what do I do you know yeah exactly and it's like you can see only that's when you that's when you play feral junior is typhoon oh yeah yeah typhoon and then you treat on their whole or, team. or 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 three transcends on the entire enemy team yeah yeah, yeah yeah nice there should be a macro that should just be like a slash cast trend arena one two three like you just press it and it stuns yeah, all three at the same time that's like that'd be like the vive the, the vive feral macro. Druid. That would be the V Feral Druid. You run and pop Zerk and Trent stun all three of them instantly. <laughs> <laughs> slash cast Berserking, slash cast Incarnation, slash cast, uh, I don't even know, Focus Arena 1, slash cast Treant 1, 2, 3, slash cast. What else? Yeah, it would, it would be the longest macro in the game. Yeah, it easily. would be pretty long. Slash cast NS clone, slash cast. It'd be a lot of slash stuff. Slash cast all your defensive cooldowns because you can just do that when you're cat form, anyways. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just, he just would do it. That would be pretty sick, man. Yeah, just or anywhere at the same time, no problem. Alright, there we go. Warlock's on. Alright, nice. Oh, what the fuck? This game's going. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Excuse my language there. Um, we just had... Yeah, my frame's all reset, so I have to re I'm put everyone's name back in. Bonk you. Alright. Okay. All right. So the other teams like the Moo Homer and like the Variant one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Moo Homer, okay. Variant, and Bon Q. Bon Q. We'll have to see if this undefeated MLS is gonna be uh, able to remain that status against this MLD coming up in just a few minutes on Nagran Arena. They are ready now. They say so. It's uh, it's waffles. So Riles, Pearl, and Waffles can be going up against Spawn, Q, Moo Homer, and Variant. Negrin Arena is the map. Always the first map. Definitely probably the most balanced maps. Although it would be interesting to see if they put the tornadoes back into it. What did they even do? Did they cyclone you or did they like knock they you around? They just knocked or? you and they did damage. <laughs> it, like, it would interrupt your cast and stuff. It was actually so dumb. Because there was multiple tornadoes and they just path randomly. So actually sometimes... You'd be it's like, you'd, running, yeah. you'd be in a corner or something. You'd be like casting a heal to survive, and then you get knocked on your heal, and you just be stuck in the corner against the wall, getting bounced against the wall by the cyclone <laughs> <laughs> until you die. No, that's obviously your fault. <laughs> it is your fault, uh, right? That yeah. You actually had to like just dodge cyclones, man. It sucked. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, and then the I don't know. Did you play when Ring of Valor had the fire that did damage? Mm, yes. I played yeah. when Ring of Fire had the fire, but I was like 1500. Oh, okay. Well, like, Ring of Fire had, like, Ring of Valor had fire, but for a while it didn't do damage, but at the start it did. And, um, you literally, like, would play with DKs, and it did so much damage, and you would just grip Hodge people onto the fire, and they would <laughs> die. I think it did a thousand every second, right? I don't even seconds. know what it was, but it was a lot. Yeah, people had like 30k health, I'm pretty sure it did a thousand every second for three seconds, so. Something like that, yeah, it was actually a ton. I remember, I remember playing against a DK Paladin. Both were engineering with rocket gloves. They would just kill me. Instantly. Yeah, that's that's reasonable. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I was fifteen hundred, so I was kind of shit. Yeah, they I was did playing the exact Holy Paladin DK. My highest rating in season five was a uh, thirteen fifty as Holy Paladin Death Knight. That's pretty sick, man. In season five, I mean, especially yeah. considering you literally just needed a cast random macro for Blood Boil and Icy Touch to get rank one. So. You know what? Me and my friend didn't even know what fear was. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, everyone starts somewhere. I against somewhere. the Warlock, I thought they were the dumbest thing ever, and I didn't understand why I couldn't play my class. Yeah. Yeah, man, oh. that's, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's, I remember, I missed season one, man. You'd, like, zone in, we, like, didn't even know what was going on. We're like, oh. Like, I remember in season one, uh, my, okay, my team, I played, I played Affliction Warlock, uh, Holy Priest. We never played SLSL in, or, no, sorry, in Disc. We never played SLSL in Holy. And, like, you had, uh, PI, when PI was in damage increase, and I could just get, like, full trinket, dots on people with PI and I just like killed their whole team. It was sick. We were like 200 points above second place. And I think second place on our battle group was Mage Hunter. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, what? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh... Oh, well. That's the fun of the game. Yeah, it was sick, man. Alright, so this MLD versus MLS probably going to be a long game. I wonder if the Mages are playing Frostbomb or not. Probably not. No one plays Frostbomb anymore. 
Yeah, it's just easier to just press living bomb. It is easier to press living bomb. Just it's get probably those more effective and shoot them out. More procs, you know. Yeah. Mahomer, Resodrid, looked pretty solid actually as a shadow play. Looked like he was doing well, staying in the back, saving his trinket, keeping his team up. Mm. So they are both locks should be playing sacrifice, I would hope, versus this. Obviously don't want enough pets being killed for the shards of the enemy team. Alright, uh, sorry, I got a big message from an admin, but uh, yeah, the game is starting up here. We are going to see Riles charging out there. Uh, the man getting involved. He's going to be put into the clone instantly, though. The pet nova does go out onto Varant. Uh, Varant just going to be dotting up at that welly. You see that the uh, living bomb's already up on that. I don't think I don't think any wellies are going to survive this match, man. Uh, both the walks are yeah. playing uh, pet sack. As, uh, that is the intelligent choice. There's the deep freeze on the move homer. Uh, deep freeze palm ring comes out there from uh, from Riles. Uh, you can see him spamming out those spell seals as well. He's going to pop his on use. He's going to be uh, going offensive here. What are they going to try to shatter? Maybe going to go on the druid, perhaps. But no. Uh, looking at the mage, so uh, Bond Q going to be the target here. Uh, Waffles, you know, is just going to be dispelling away. Uh, Dots are going to be spreading out. Bon Q in some trouble, though, already having to pull back here. Uh, he's going to catch the Iron Bark. He's going to be fully hotted up, so should be fine for now. And uh, Variant looking like he is going to be taking some damage as well. But the Druid spreading those hots out. He's going to throw out the Swift Mend, and uh, I think everyone's just fine. Yeah, I think everyone's just fine. Pulling behind that pillar. A lot of cool memes are coming out. The fence just pulling behind that pillar, playing defensive, not wanting to use any ice blocks right away. We do see the CS onto the Pyro Lock of the MLS and a CS onto the Warlock of also the MLD. So lots of interrupts being thrown out, kind of trying to stop that pressure. Seema Homer put into the full Halo Terror while another Fear is on the Rile. So every time I feel like a healer's going to be CC'd, a DPS is going to be CC'd on the enemy team as well because they have so many and they just don't want any pressure to happen. Riles is uh, currently casting Ring Frost, gets CS'd on that, and is sitting around 50% health. I don't think he's too scared, though. I mean, he has Iron Bark, he just kind of blinks back to his Wrestler Dude, kind of playing it safe. But overall, we see actually a lot more pressure coming out of this MLS over the MLD. Yeah. CS coming out on the Varant, gets locked out on that UA. Mahomer put into the full Fearful Dots on them. What can they do off this? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Mahomer is kind of sitting everything, and, you know, he isn't doing the best job, I think, keeping those haunts up. You know, there's no blooms out on anyone right now. He's not even trying to put them up, so he's just going to go for the Trank. Should be able to top everyone back off. Uh, you know, but he's doing well on mana, uh, still has all his cooldowns, and the Trank Hot is going to go up, so everyone is going to be back to full HP. Uh, the Tranquility Hot is actually so powerful. Uh, you can see Bon Q is just spamming out so many spell steals that he's actually oom um at this point. Uh, Ryle's going to be pushing in now, uh, going to be going for the Blizzard. There was an Innervate on Muhomer. He's literally 100% mana right now. He's going to be put into that Hallow Terror, though. Here comes the Swap. They're going to go on a Bon Q. Uh, bon Q does pop that uh, Temporal Shield. There's a Palm Sheep on a Muhomer. Deep Freeze on a Bon Q. Can he actually blink out of that? He cannot because he has MTS. Uh, going to be taking some pretty big damage there. Alter Time is is popped. Alter time palm sheep there. It looks like onto waffles. Was it dispelled? I, I thought I saw the, the sheep on the waffles, but I'm not sure what happened with that. Uh, the deep freeze uh, may be coming out here as the, the frost orb does fly in. Waffles going to be MCS, but the orb uh, not doing too, too much. It is hitting pro a little bit, but uh, Bon Q taking some damage. Move home. We're going to catch a big UA dispel there as Variant does pop his demon soul. Pro going to have his demon soul up again. Uh, pro is taking some pretty big damage himself. He's going to recast that gateway as his gateway uh, was being killed off. And uh, Move Homer is going to be stacking up those blooms again now, uh, getting the rejuves out on everyone, and, and they, they're looking fine. Yeah, they're looking just fine. As you see a lot of decreases coming up from both teams, probably trying to, the mage is trying to get that extra damage burst. When they are going for their kill attempts, we see a fear onto Mohomer. That's the thing. And we see actually full deep freeze. So we're probably going to be doing a swap over onto Mohomer. Actually, just deep into the sheep and a hex onto Varen. So a good cross you see there by this team, kind of just trying to tunnel to Bank Q. He is oom from those spell steals. We see Hellstone come out and a gateway come up from Varen. Deep down to 30%, 32%. We see Shadow come in. So there's the first ice block, forced from this MLS. Good play by them. An important notice is Rest Shaman is actually just spamming to spell on Varen's dots. We defeat Varen, dip it down to 20%. We see full. All of his cooldowns being popped, all his healing cooldowns, we see Iron Bark go up, so he should be just fine here, his health spiking up with those hots, but as MLS is doing a great job at stopping all the pressure, this Wrestle Shaman just sitting in the back, using his ground totems and spam to spawn those Willock dots, trying not to let this Bang Q team get any pressure at all. Yeah, I mean, I, I find a lot of the, the EU Wrestle Shamans play that play style. Um, you know, this every eight seconds they press the spell, no matter what. They they don't wait for CC. They just try to dispel dots and try to relieve as much pressure as possible. It seems to be uh, the style that all those Euro shamans are really playing. And there's the hex coming out now on a Bon Q. It's going to break immediately though. Uh, so was full damage up. There's the palm cheap on Waffles. What can they get done with this now? Uh, he still has another palm, and uh, he needs to get some damage out here. They're going to be going on a Riles. Riles down half HP. Uh, could be taking some damage here. Uh, there's that temporal shield, and he uses actually a palm cheap offensively on Riles, but they were going on him so. That was kind of weird. I guess Bonkyu just felt like he needed to shut down some damage, but 
Anyway, he is going to be the target. He's pulling back here. Uh, once again, going to get back behind the pillar. Uh, and he does pop his icy veins there, but really not getting too, too much done with it. So, um, Bon Q, you know, playing, playing a little bit weird here. He's going to go for the Evo now. Um, you know, Waffles and, and Muhom are both, you know, high on mana. Really, nothing has, has happened just yet. And I feel like uh, we need to start seeing some Shaman swaps. We need to start seeing some Druid swaps, some more aggressive play. Um, otherwise, uh, we're looking at a, a timeout. We are definitely looking at a time of the game to the way, but I definitely think it's very viable for this MLS to do Druid swaps. And here yeah. comes the deep freeze onto him. We might be seeing actually a Ring of Frost being cast onto him. So this is just for CC. Maybe he's going to try out to the sh la line up a shadow out of this, but the ring does just break to the Warlock Doss, and he's just going to be just fine. But I feel like this MLS can just go in and how this Druid out of position, get a deep freeze orb on him every yeah. single time. I don't think that's that difficult to do, especially when your port or gateway is lined up on theirs. We do see the Demon Soul coming out to Varant, trying to put full dots up onto this Resto Shaman team, but he's just spammed his blowing those dots and casting Helios Surgeons in the back, playing so defensive, and so is Mahomer. See a double Howl Terror coming out onto the DPS of this MLD. Demon Soul just ending in a full or a short poly onto Varant, it's one quarter. And uh, I feel like Bonkey maybe should be decursing himself a little more, but it's honestly not that big a deal. We see the uh, Deep Freeze coming out onto uh, the Warlock of this MLS, dipping down to 40%, 60%. He uses shield while we see a full, full sheep, sheep on, on Waffles. Echo. Yeah, yes. Waffles is going to be uh, sheeped off there. And I mean, uh, Pro is going to pour back. Uh, so it looks like he is just fine. They did get the shield wall at least. You know, that is something Bonk, you going to be targeted here. Uh, and I did actually play some MLD with Riles the other day. And it seems like he just likes to target mages the whole time. And honestly, I don't think mage is the best target. I, I feel like Warlock or... Um, or Druid is actually a better target here, but you know I think it's it's one of those things where you know some players only like to try to kill off their own class. I don't know if it's like a class envy thing or what, but uh, you know they, they're just going on Bon Q and. Um, and it might work out for them, but uh, but I feel like this druid is so susceptible. That, you know, they keep uh, getting the druid, you know, low with no hots, and they're just kind of CCing him instead. So I, I feel like uh, it would be really good to see some some swaps to this druid because I mean, like, look right now, he's at sixty percent with zero hots. Wouldn't that be like a perfect swap? Yeah, it would be a perfect swap, and I've actually seen them get him in, getting him in deep freezes like every time when he's around like 80% with full dots, and we see the deep freeze actually at 20% health. Deep freeze comes in, he does for this bark screen, we actually see a block come out of him, he's at 14%, okay, there goes the Ursoc, he should just be just fine off of that, no more real dots coming but yeah, definitely, I mean, I see him at like 80%, we see full Warlock dots and living Blom up, and then he puts him to the deep freeze, and they just sheep him off, I don't understand that, like, why wouldn't you shatter into that? And anyways, we see the MLS all around 70% health, still just dispelling those dots, he pops healing tide, trying to top his team off, not really letting them dip below, good job by, um, the Shaman be able to keep his team at 100%, but we do see the Deep Freeze coming into this Warlock. It does get dispelled. He does has no Trinket for a few more seconds. I believe he did will uh, fear, probably. And he's actually lifetime himself down to 26%, but it does catch a big heal. Deep Freeze onto Mahomer, but I feel like they should be using those Deep Freezes offensively onto the rest of Druid every single time. It not only will cause him to hot himself and kind of dip him low and possibly get a kill, but you also rot the enemy team while doing that. Full Hex goes onto Varen on his Demon Soul. Great job by the Shaman there, shutting that down. Trying to stop as much damage as possible for his team, letting them go offensive, and also Demon Soul coming up from this MLS team. Just fades now, but full dots on everyone. We full, sh full sheep onto Mohammed, the rest of Druid, and uh, Banku dipping low. Full uh, uh, dots on him, but also full life boom, so he should be just fine. I'm not really too worried about him right now. Everyone just kind of hiding behind the pillar, playing yeah. pretty safe. There's a deep freeze on Riles, though. Riles could be in a bit of trouble. He blinked in offensive there. He's going to pop the altar time, the temporal shield as well. Will he actually click off the altar? I think he did. He would have just altered back behind the pillar, which would have been kind of an awkward spot. But look at Waffles. Uh, you know, Waffles is pretty much oom now, so maybe the MLD is going to want to go offensive. We do see full dots are up on him. Varant going to be swapped over onto. There's the MCS onto Varant. Uh, Varant going to be uh, put have the orb put out on him as well. But Bon Q uh, looking like he wants to be the target once again from Riles. And Riles is chasing after this mage the whole time. You can see spell seals being spammed out by both mages. They're both tapped on mana. No hots out, out actually. Zero hots out on the whole team right now uh, from Muhomer. He, he needs to try to get those hots out. He has his NS popped as well. He, he's not using it. Uh, needs to get that off, man. I think it got spell stolen now. He waited way too long. And Waffles um, is going to be drinking there over back behind the pillar. So did get back up to about 20 percent long q is gonna is gonna block there uh so he does get those full hot up and now move home we're gonna be swapped over onto perhaps uh he's fully dotted up he has that living bomb as well he's at 50 percent hp has full mana but he needs to get those hots going there's a coil on waffles pro in some trouble he does have those healing cooldowns pop preemptively but he made us die through them down to 30 percent hp uh he's catching some big heals now and he should be able to get out of there uh, as he did stabilize, but I mean, the healing cooldowns are gone. He has his trinket, he has his shield wall. Uh, Muhomer is going to pop that swift man. Uh, Varen going to be spam sheep there. Uh, it looks like they are just going to continue chasing after Bonkyu. Uh, there's the palm sheep coming out there. Altar time came out from Bonkyu as well. He's going to be broken uh, out of that sheep though uh, by Riles. Muhomer getting down a little bit low. I think he just dispelled a UA. Uh, but I mean, Muhomer needs to keep the blooms on Bon Q. That's who they're always on. Just leave the blooms on him. Top yourself with Regrowth and Regives, in my opinion. Uh, Waffles is getting low on mana. Uh, Pro going to pop that Demon Soul here now. They're about nine minutes into the game. The palm comes out. Uh, Muhomer actually shifted that palm sheep. Great job by him. Uh, muting that palm sheep from Riles. Um, and I mean, we are going to see them 
once again pushing forward. But you know, New Homer has a trinket, Bonkyu has a trinket, getting a new Welly out right now. Uh, Waffles, you know, has been low on mana, but you know, he, he's been staying low on mana for a long time, and I think he's going to be able to be fine at that. Yeah, I definitely think this Dresser Shaman doesn't really care about the mana. His team's always at 100%, and I feel like he just feels fine to let himself regen at, fifth, uh, at that such low mana. And Jawal just keeping everyone top with um, healing waves and whatnot. We do see the uh, switch coming over into Echo. He's just using Death Quill. It's the first time I've seen that. That's the first time they switched onto Echo, and I believe that's the right strat. I think they should just be running at him. Honestly, they're running this Rest Dude comp. Just keep full hots on yourself and just go whenever you can. If your Rest Dude has Trinket, you're pretty well safe. And you see the orb coming in on this Warlock. We do see that shield wall coming out of him. So I believe that's the last of his cooldowns. He doesn't have regen anymore. He doesn't have shield wall. So if they can get another swap onto him, maybe force trinket, he might just go down. But again, I do think the Wrestle Shaman is the correct target. We see full dots on this MLS team. A lot of pressure coming out. And Echo is actually going for the draw. Um, rather, Waffle is going for the drink there. Probably going to chop himself off. Or he gets back up to 60%, stands up while his Warlock is taking tons of damage. Yeah. Full deep freeze onto this Wrestle Druid. May see a poly come out of that. Or, uh, yeah, full poly onto the Wrestle Druid. And this team looks to be just fine as MLD. Yeah, Bonq did pop the ultra time there, but I think it got uh, removed almost instantly. But Riles in a little bit of trouble now, down to 50% HP. Gonna pop the ice block and the hellstone there. Uh, Bonq, uh, looking like uh, you know he's gonna be swapping it over on Waffles now. The quill comes out of the deep freeze. Waffles down about 70%. Riles in some trouble though, half HP. Do they have any CC here for Waffles? Waffles uh, is at about half HP. He gets the NS uh, sentence heal out onto Riles there. Uh, we see Moo Homer gonna be spreading uh, those hots out a little bit. You know, trying to he needs to get a rejuve up on himself and Vera, but he's gonna go for the drink right now. He did have full hots up on Bonq but they are going to expire. Uh, bon Q now uh, pushing forward, trying to get some damage out. The deep freeze uh, palm ring comes out. I think Riles actually missed that, unfortunately, though, for him. Yeah, he did miss that palm ring. Um, so, I mean, there's a nice... Oh, Displacer Beast out of that. I didn't even know you could do that. So, he Displacer Beast out of that ring. Uh, good job by Muhomer. He's going to pop uh, the tree as well. He's going to be having Iron Bark up on Bon Q, and Bon Q should be fine with those, uh, those tree heals coming out. Trinket was forced there, though, by Muhomer, and we're going to hit 11 minutes, and that is going to be a tie. One to one will be the score. Yeah, important note, the Warlock is actually using Dark Bargain Yeah. on the MLS team, so I'm not so sure about that, if that's actually the best choice, but whatever, it doesn't seem like he needed the entire game. But yeah, a long game, not really too much happening. I definitely feel like this MLD needs to get more Shaman swaps, they're not doing it enough. If they are running Coil, that's the right choice for them to do. Yeah. 100%. I don't know like if Coil is really the right choice yes. anyway. I mean, yeah, Coil's I don't think Coil is that great. But, I mean, since they are running it, I mean, that's what you should do with it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think the Shaman Swaps are the way to go, you know, with... Um, and Shaman Swaps do get a lot of damage. Because the, the thing is, the thing that's so good about Shaman Swaps, though, I mean, sh like, the Coil isn't what makes the Shaman Swaps good. The Shaman Swaps are good because you deep freeze the Shaman and you howl the other two and there's no Tremor. Um, so that's that's what how you get those really good swaps on the Shaman. But... yeah. And then you're just able to clone yeah. off those because no one's able to stop them. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it, it's really good. But, um, uh, you know, Riles, Riles' team just went mage the whole time. They never really tried to kill anything uh, ever except the mage. And uh, I think that's the wrong choice. But at the same time, I think that, you know, I think Warlock is the right choice. And going pro is good for the MLD. But they need to make swaps to the Shaman, too. It needs to be the Shaman and Warlock, not just Warlock. Um, you know, and Riles' team needs to be, you know, they need to mix it up a little bit. They can't be so one-dimensional and just only target the mage the whole game start to finish. Yeah, because they had a lot of great opportunities on that rest of Druid, in my yeah. opinion, and you saw it too. Like. And especially especially against a, a Druid, man, it's like, the Druid can literally just leave Blooms on the mage the whole time because they never are once targeting anything else, ever. It's so, like, it's so obvious. So yeah. it's like, you know, I don't think it's very hard to stop at all. You just never take Blooms off the mage and just read of other people slowly up and stuff like that because... The only person they ever tried to kill was the mage. There was one time where they swapped the druid, and it was because the druid was at 60%, no hots, and then dispelled the UA to 20% HP, and they deep froze him. So it's like, okay, that's the most you know most obvious swap in the yeah. world, obviously. But um, it's constant. The druid honestly isn't doing the best job keeping rejuve up and stuff. So it's like a lot of times I'm seeing this druid at 70%, 80%, whatever, and he has no hots, zero hots up, and full dots on himself. And if you fear him right then or defreeze him and make a good swap, I mean that you're gonna get a lot of cooldowns. So. I mean, I think that they just need to mix it up a bit, man. They they can't just yeah, tunnel the mage, start to finish, or we're just gonna have uh, another another. You're gonna have game. another marathon. Yeah. yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Um, oh, well, yeah. Hopefully, they do change it up this time because I mean, they definitely had the opportunities to switch. I mean, he was, as you said, not doing the best job. He had full dots himself and just decided not to rejuve himself, and he was letting himself tick down, and they would dispel a UA with full dots himself. And I mean, if the mage just blinks in there and gets like an orb deep with the, even without anything else other than that, he's gonna force trinkets and uh, ice blocks and stuff out of the rest of Jude. So. Hopefully we can see that this game. Didn't quite see it as much last game, but we'll see. Probably going into this game in a few seconds. Gates probably should be opening soon, hopefully. Yep, there they do. Yeah, and then the gates go. But yeah, I think this Wrestle Shaman is actually playing it really well. Sitting behind the pillar, dispelling on cooldown. Definitely just trying to give his team as much opportunity as they can at top health and not really taking too much pressure. 
Yep. Good job by him. We've got a tweet here from Skrillcapped. He says, they're going on the mage because only a mage understands how frail other mages are. Bon Q did not look too frail to me that game, man. He blocked, what, Bonk's once the whole strong. game? I think he blocked one time. Yeah, one time in an 11-minute game, and he was never really even in danger of dying. I even think that block he would have been fine without. So, not looking that frail, man. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty, looking pretty solid. Pretty strength. Pretty strong. Pretty strength. I don't even know why pretty I said strang. that. Pretty strength. He's looking, He's looking pretty, pretty strong. Looking pretty strong out there. Maybe that's like a country western way of saying I mean, strong. Country west, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. So I actually don't even think that's a real thing, but we'll go with it. We're going to go with that. So uh, yeah. anyway, um, he's looking pretty buff, man. But um, yeah, I don't think he was going to die. And it's not even that you can't kill the mage. It's that you can't only target a mage the whole game against a druid team. You can't target one target the whole game against a druid team yeah, as like a wizard cleave. You have to get a the swap. Druid, can just switch. Yeah. Like, it's like, so easy. I mean, the other thing is, the other thing that's excellent about going druids is, okay, you go you go on the druid, right? He has no hots on himself. You deep him. You swap him. You MCS him off that. He gets low. He's, he comes out at 30%, and he has to swap hots to himself. And then the mage has no hots on him, and then you just fear the druid with hots on him, and then you go on the mage, you know? Like, yeah, and this, just is, this is how the world of craft works. You swap around and stuff, and you do other targets. That's how wizard cleave works, man. you got to make them them their swaps. Yeah, tell um, them one target too obvious. Obviously, yep. we're supposed to do team. Yep. All right. And uh, full hots are already up on Bon Q before anyone even came out, and they're going to open up on Bon Q. Uh, there's the palm ring onto uh, Muhomer off the deep freeze. Uh, Varant going to be feared off, and they're just going on Bon Q. Uh, alter time has been popped by him. He's going to alter back to those blooms and full HP. Uh, and he looks like he is okay. Varant, though, taking some damage here. They are finally swapping it up. Uh, Varant actually popped his Bark Bargain. Whoa. I don't know about that, Varant, but uh, they did get through that cooldown. So uh, Sonic Kid's already getting a major cooldown. Uh, Ryle's getting kind of low there. He does alter time. He does pop his Hellstone as well. So uh, he's going to be fine. Um, and, I mean, they're going to push in here. Uh, Varant already having taken quite a bit of damage. Um, you know, this Druid, though, needs to start spreading those hots out a bit. He's going to get deep. Is he going to get poly? They're going to look for that poly. They do get the full poly, and they're going to be going on a Varant here. So uh, Varant will now be the target. Not going to be Bon Q. Halotair comes in off that. Pretty overlap, but uh, it's actually going to force a trinket uh, from Muhomer. He does throw out the dispel as well. And yeah, he's getting full hots up. Yeah, Mahomer definitely not doing the best job keeping full hots on his team. I mean, he wasn't CC and only had two Reju, so you have to keep those hots rolling. Otherwise, when the CC chain does come, you're not going to be able to pick your team up and you're going to force defensive cooldowns. That uh, Dark Barrier was a little preemptive, but that's okay. Bank Q seems to be the target, but um, this MLD also doing a good job switching me up. They got Riles a couple times, but I definitely think that they should be looking at the Shaman. They haven't really pushed in. I feel like with uh, like a fear on the DPS and to clones onto the mage or something, they should definitely just push in on the Shaman and do what they can. We see an MCS going into Mahomer, him just sitting bare for him, making sure he can't get polyed. Good job by him. Ben Q has no hots on himself. He has no light booms out. I mean, if he's getting CC and he's behind the pillar and he's scared of getting stuff, just put light booms on yourself, stack them up yeah. that way, and then swatch them, uh, switch them out onto your team. Yeah, I have to I have to definitely agree, man. Um, and we are seeing those full blooms up on Bon Q. He catches the Reju there as well. He's going to be evoing up. Uh, going to get that mana back. Oh, we see the deep freeze into the palm ring. This one is going to land on the Moo Homer. Uh, the Hawk's going to fall now off of Bon Q. Bon Q going to be uh, MCS in that in that Nova. He's going to be uh, uh, getting shattered, but a nice temporal shield there uh, timed out with that. He's going to pop his Alter Time, but he gets hex on it. That's annoying. He's not going to be able to do really anything with that. So he Alter Time's back uh, to just before he got hex, but I don't think he got either palm off. I'm not sure if he used it, but I imagine he would have palmed with that Alter Time. And uh, Ryle's now going to be CS. He's going to be put into the Death Coil. Uh, the Shatter going to be coming out on him. So they are still playing that Death Coil spec. Uh, you know, Varen is. Uh, he does only have a minute and a half remaining on that Dark Bargain. They haven't really gone back to Varen at all ever since that first swap. They got Dark Bargain instantly, and then they just have uh, been sitting on Bon Q. Yeah, we see. Do you see that small swap onto the rest of Shaman? He tried to throw an orb deep in there. It didn't really do too much. He had no dots. He went to about 70%. But I feel like they just really need to go coordinate on that rest of Shaman. That's the best thing they can do. We see Varen and this other Warlock Pyro popping their Demon Souls pretty much on unison, as they probably both used at the very beginning. He's trying to get as much pressure as they can roll. And we see no real dots onto this rest of Druid team, though. No. And he's doing a good job keeping his hots on both of his players. We see Double Halotera coming in while a deep freeze on Mahomer. Great play by them. That's a good cross. You see into a full Ring of Frost. I'd love to see a setup on Mahomer out of this. Maybe put a full Fear, put some pressure into him, make him switch his hots from himself and swap to someone else and that's exactly what they're going to do here they're throwing the orb out onto both of these players Rouse is spamming his damage actually into the mage Bon Q and uh, actually into Varant Varant dipping down to 40% we see the iron bark MCS come on both players the druid and if he's just 9% health Big Shroom too, going to bring him back up to 100% health he looks like he's going to be just fine and Waffle doing a good job sitting in the back keeping his team topped 
Yeah, so I mean, they did make the swap onto the Warlock, and I mean, it just seems every time they go Warlock, they're getting him low or they're getting a cooldown. You know, why not make that Warlock more of a target? You know, instead of Bon Q, because look at Bon Q, just fully hotted up once again. Uh, the orb comes in there uh, from Bon Q. It's going to whiff, unfortunately, just flying into the entrance there. Uh, so not going to get much done. Waffle's going to throw that that dispel, catch the UA once again. He's high on mana. He's been sitting back, just drinking uh, every time he can. And Pearl going to be spreading out those dots. We see the Poly's trying to come out here. Bon Q going to be hexed on the Poly. Here comes the swap um, over onto uh, onto onto Variant. There's the deep freeze for CC onto Muhomer. He's going to be uh, palm polyed off that, even though he was kind of low. You know, maybe they should have just gone him. But anyway, uh, he's going to actually trinket that poly. So he has no trinket now. He's into the tree form. He's going to be spamming out these regos. Uh, bon Q uh, is going to catch regos. So is Varant. We have the palm ring onto a waffles. Uh, bon Q just trying to solo waffles over there. He actually gets him to 30% HP. Uh, MCS comes out as well. Hellstone Battlemaster. Imagine if the Warlock was there for that. I mean, he got him to 30%. Bon Q going to have to have to block though as he does uh, overextend a little bit by himself and uh, you know. Muhomere needs to get over there and get some heals out because Bonkyu's almost out of the block and uh, there's no haunts out at all. Yeah, definitely. Muhomere just put into the deep and a uh, double uh, Halatera coming out there, forcing the trigger from Varan. This is great pressure from this MLD coming in. Definitely, uh, Bonkyu should be back peeling when that happens. When it goes in, you don't have the advantage. You just need peeling for your team. Two, B two DPS on a healer DPS versus one DPS on a healer. I'm pretty sure that the team with the two DPS on the healer DPS has the advantage in that situation. We see the Fierce coming out to Varen, he has no trinket for those. And uh, Mahomer not struggling too much on mana, the Innervate does come out. We see a spell out going on to Pyro, kind of trying to shut down the end of that Demon Soul. Good job by Varen doing that. But I don't feel like he's getting most of the disc We've seen relaying down that gateway, it did die. That's an important thing to do for him. We see Ben Q starting to spam with the Poly, gets hexed on, the, gets hexed on his Arcane. We see the Poly come out again, gets CS. So this team just really tunneling interrupts into Bon Q, trying to stop him from doing as much as they can, feeling like he's the thing that's going to come up and get the pressure on their enemy team. We see a Deep Freeze coming into Vryles there, probably blinked in there. So good job by him recognizing that and doing as much shadow pressure as he can onto them. I feel like they should be going back to this Warlock of Pyro, though, or uh, by a Varant. They've been getting a lot of pressure by doing that. They've been forcing cooldowns, but now they're unfortunately their backup for them. So not going to be able to do much next time they swap if these cooldowns are popped. Yeah, and I mean, Varen does now have his Dark Bargain, he has his wall, he has his healing glance, he has everything, so... Very hard to get pressure here for this MLS, um, but you know, at the same time, Waffles into the sheep. There's a CS on Pro. Uh, Ronald's taking a little bit of damage, gonna pop the Temporal Shield. Uh, we do see that he's gonna blink out of there as well. Um, and I mean, he is gonna be uh, just fine. The Deep Freeze comes in on Bon Q. That's gonna be actually trinketed. Bon Q did not want to get shattered there, uh, did not want to risk taking that damage. And Hot's gonna be swapped over onto Bon Q once again, but you know, Muhomer, he doesn't use Reju very much. You know, no Reju on himself, no Reju on Varant. The only one is usually just on the main target. The Orb gonna come out from Bon Q, gonna be doing some damage here to Pro. Nice port though by Pro instantly gets out of there uh, and just rendering that that uh, orb very very useless yeah definitely that's a good job by both by that warlock both walks should be doing that every time that they're being swapped to they should definitely just port out of there there's no reason not to it's such a short cooldown it's 30 seconds orb is one minute if you can just save your port every time from that you'll be safe and not have to use your defensives so as long as these warlocks to make sure they're not caught out in the middle i think they'll be fine I've, i'm really surprised that neither of these mlds or mls's are going for healer swaps that seems to be like what i always think this comp is good at is healer swaps because they have so much cc but Apparently these teams just don't feel confident in a tournament situation to be able to go after one of their healers. We see a spell going onto Varen to a full fear. He does end up getting dispelled out of that. We see the death coil come out. They just swap onto Waffles, a full deep freeze. Gets down pretty low. He does end up using his battle masters. He throws down the healing stream. He should be just fine. And the healing cooldowns also come out of Pyro. So maybe if they can actually get some CC onto Waffle and a swap onto Pyro, because he did just use his healing cooldowns, yeah. they can get something going. The uh, demon's still coming out of Varen. Deep freeze onto Mahomer. Thank you. This MLD team seems to be doing just fine and uh, we're going to see what they do. Ryle's going down to about 50% and you see the palm come out, maybe a palm sheep trying to, or maybe a defensive palm and we just see the ice block being forced. Yeah, so Ryle's going to have to go into the block. He did use his Hellstone there as well. He used his PvP trinket too. Uh, Waffles into the full sheep. He's going to be rung off that. Ryle's could be in some trouble, but here comes the swap on a Pearl. Pearl down to 60%. Catches the Riptide there. Uh, he's going to pour it out of there immediately. That is how you do it. Just port, avoid the damage. That is uh, some smart play there from the Warlock. I mean, instead of using Shield Wall, instead of using Dark Bargain or anything like that, just going to port. That's, that's how it has to be done, man. Um, he's going to be pushing forward here. Uh, but I want to see the MLD starting to get aggressive. You know, you're right. Make, make Waffles uh, choose who to heal. Don't make it so easy. You have to make him uh, choose to heal himself or someone else. Get two people low. Um, Bong Yu going to be the target once again here. Varant taking a little bit of damage. There's a, a ring onto uh, Muhomer out of that deep freeze. And it looks like it's not going to break to the dots. So uh, we do see Varant taking a little bit of damage. Pro, though, uh, forced to use the shield wall there. Uh, he was, you know, high HP, but he was a little bit nervous about the shatter coming in. So he is going to pop that shield wall. 
So that is now gone for him. So no shield wall, no healing cooldowns available for Pro. Uh, so he could be a pretty good target, but there's the Dark Bargain coming up from Varen. Got Chatter dangerously low, so not a bad one there at all. Uh, definitely got a little bit nervous for, for himself, and we are going to see Shrooms being stacked back up. Uh, Shrooms actually going to be popped there. Um, they were small Shrooms, but they were still fine. They still got him to full HP, and Waffles now going to sit down, go for that drink. Eight minutes in, remember this game cannot time out, since uh, it is going to be that, that, that best of three, and it is a match point for both teams. Yeah, I definitely agree with that Dark Bargain from Varen, kind of just using one big cooldown to avoid using a million small ones. I think that's a great choice. With uh, not actually overlapping anything, we see the orb coming out, not really doing too much, and uh, I, just, I just don't see anything happening if they don't do these healer swaps, like you said. I mean, there's not much pressure going to be going on from anyone at all. We do see the mages kind of spraying off. We see the water elemental come up from Ryle, so before that's killed, we're probably going to want to see him do something with that. The Demon Soul comes up from Varen, so Bon Q team want to go hard here, but the Demon Soul also coming from Pyro, so both teams kind of having that Demon Soul on the same cooldown. We see a Nova coming out onto Grabocheck. Good job shifting out of that and not getting caught into that uh, Ring of Frost. Big haunt damage coming out from Varen onto the target of Riles. Riles dipping down dangerously low, down to 30%, 40%. Temporo goes up. He should be just fine. Big heal coming out from Waffle, but Waffle gets put into the full sheet. Maybe they can set off out of that. He's in the middle of the map. It'd be a great swap opportunity. Uh, Bank you actually dipping low to 30%. Doesn't end up blinking back to his rest of Dude Mahomer, put into the full deep freeze. Spell out going on to Varant. Lots of CC going on to this MLD team. We'll see. Maybe they just want to gate out of there, trying to stop the pressure, trying to maybe reset, regroup themselves, and get uh, topped off. But the pressure is going back onto this MLS. Riles. Uh, just just going to get a big heal from this Russian Shaman. Good job from Waffle, popping the Ascendants, noticing that his team's both mates are getting low and using that cooldown, that healing cooldown to top them both off at the same time. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think at this point, we're just waiting for someone to make a mistake. You know, if, if these two teams are going to play like this, I, th I think you just need someone to make a big mistake and big crits come in and someone just get erased without using cooldowns because uh, it's going to be hard to, for, for either team to ever really get a kill like this. Um, you know, Waffles just constantly sitting down for drinks, and whenever he needs it, he is going um a lot faster than Drew, but uh, he's allowed to drink whatever he wants to, so it's not really a, a big a big deal for him to, to be going um faster. And Varen going to be pulling back here. The MLD kind of stacking on their gate right now. Uh, when you see that Pro is going to be pushing in a little bit, he could be a, a good target. He's going to be drain soling on that welly. He's going to be able to get full shards back once again here. A uh, Waffle back behind the pillar there, you know, just sitting in a good spot, playing defensive. At the same time, we are going to see that... Um, Riles uh, is going to be the target for now. He's dipping down a little bit, down about 70% HP. Bon Q, same time, is about 70% HP, but he's fully hotted up. Waffle's going to catch that UA to spell. Uh, and we do see that, uh, you know, he's going to be just fine. You have this water LM being dotted -da -da up. It's going to go down. I'm not sure if they're going to get the air. Yeah, here comes a drain soul. Full shards coming out for uh, Barrett. We see a full poly just ending on a homer. It looks like another half sheep is going to go onto him, but not really much going to be accomplished by this. Actually, we see the full deep unfreeze onto Varant. Quick this or a quick uh, trinket out of him. Good job by him as the blanket CS was on Mohomer, trying to stop any pressure that they can. And the demon soul being popped by both warlocks, trying to get as much pressure as they can on both teams. But as again, Waffle just sitting behind that pillar. I mean, he seems to love it. That's the EU. That's the EU pillar. That's what they love doing. They love staying there. But thank you, actually, giving down 24 percent, forced into that ice block. He does have two more, or he does have another ice block, though. I believe he, because he did just use his cold snap with that ice block. I agree with that choice, trying to get the ice block off cooldown as fast as possible. This MLD team kind of starting to rot. We see an MCS going to Mahomer, and a deep freeze coming out of Varen. This could be the end. Jimmy down to 30%. I'm not sure if he has any cooldowns left. Does he have healing close? And there comes the Dark Bargain. Dark Bargain does come back up. He did use it, uh, I guess it would be three minutes ago now. So good job by him using that immunity cooldown to stop all that pressure. But there is going to be a big dot out of that. But uh, Mahom or Mahomer is just trying to counter that. He uses his tree form. This MLD team should be just fine. Uh, another thing I'd like to see is Mahomer maybe throwing out more Cyclones. He hasn't gone for any at all. I guess he doesn't feel confident with the amount of CSs this enemy team has to stop him. Pyro and all these uh, this MLS team just sitting behind the pillar. Waffle does take the gate over, feeling uncomfortable in that situation. Wants to be by himself on a pillar. Feels pretty good like that. Yep, uh, and we can see Yip's got a full clone on that dog in the background. It's it's going to be c setting out. Can't be hearing that anymore. Uh, bon Q going to be going for the evocate. Uh, we are going to have him pushing over there. He's going to be trying to get a shatter out onto Riles, but Waffle uh, has gated out there. Going to dispel off the UA, uh, and he's going to be just fine. Uh, we do see that Riles taking a little bit of damage here. There's a CS on a Pearl. Waffles, though, standing up uh, from that drink. Going to be able to uh, go for a little bit of healing now. Uh, we do see the orb coming out. Big damage on a Bon Q. Bon Q does have those full hots. Palm Sheep on a Mu Homer. Uh, but Bon Q uh, going to be fine. Uh, the dog is out of the cyclone. Going to need a Treant Sun on him soon. Uh, see if we can get that. Varant going into the deep freeze. Down about half HP. Uh, Hellstone being popped there. Uh, so is the Shield Wall. He did actually use his Hellstone uh, with, <laughs> with the Dark Regen. So that is separate. 
Um, we are going to see another orb coming out now. Bon Q popping the orb. Uh, Waffle's in a little bit of trouble. Waffle's trinkets. He gets coil on it. He could go down right here. 10% HP. There's the MCS. 25% uh, HP. 10% HP again. Another MCS. Blank MCS comes in. 2%. He goes down. And Mushroom Comp are going to get the kill. First shaman swap of the game. Yeah. That's them That's the kill. The they found the blue. That shot, shot. They were waiting for the blue. That's why Waffle was so scared. Sitting behind the pillar the entire of the game. Kept calling it. We have to say they have to go on the shaman. Great swap by them. We see the deep freeze. We see the coils. MCS's double come out, and that's the kill. That's you know the game. it was, man. The dog Thank in the background calling for kill. You could hear it. He was barking <laughs> for that kill, man. He could sense it in the air. Yeah, he sensed. He sensed danger for the shaman. He was, uh, you know, trying to trying to warn him. You know, is is it, it was like you know Lassie running and trying to tell him that someone you know someone fell in the well. Um, but you know, the shaman didn't listen, man. The shaman could not hear the dog. He wasn't tuned into the stream, so he didn't know the swap was coming, and uh, they were able to kill him off. Yeah, great job by them. Mark all day, shot. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably my little dog. My little rat. My little rat dog? I hate yeah, rat dogs. I hate rat dogs too, man. Yeah. That's okay, though. I still love my dogs, even though I hate rat dogs. My dogs are cool. But when I get older, I definitely want to get myself like a German Shepherd or something like that. Something big. Something smart. Something fun. Yeah. That. German yeah. Shepherds are pretty cool. Golden German Retrievers are an A-plus dog as well, I would say. Yeah, I would say so as well. My uh, actually, two of my uh, uncles have uh, golden retrievers, and one actually uh, breeds them. So oh, maybe wow. I'll there you yeah. go. Sounds like you got the connect. You got the family connect. I got the connections, man. Yeah, you got those. Uh, as I move out, get that golden retriever. <laughs> yep, there you go. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yep. train a bunch of tricks. Be my best friend forever. Yeah, it's gonna be able to warn you anytime those swaps are coming in, man. You just yeah, train them. I know. He's gonna start barking, and I'll be like, oh shit, I know I'm dead here. I have to run. He'll just, he'll just tap you on your knee with his paw. You know, he's yeah. so smart. I'm uh, so trained. Yep, sick. All right, so uh, mushroom comp is that the first best of three? I don't even know. Was it the first, the first one or yeah, the second? Yeah, that was one? the first one. Yeah, are you first sure? Best of three going to mushroom company. Oh yeah, it's the first one. Didn't they play? Didn't they just play? No, they played. Oh.